Hey guys, so I'm back with Crusader Kings. Um, I'm not actually playing CK3 today. I'm actually gonna be playing CK2. Um, I've never actually played CK2. I'm pretty new to the franchise. I've only actually ever played CK3. If you're curious, I'm also playing with all the DLCs using um the subscription service. So this is the first time I've ever actually spent money on the channel. Um, five dollars and twenty nine cents to be exact. So I hope it's worth it. Let's start. So immediately looking, we have five starts instead of um CK3's two. I don't think I'm gonna play with either 867 or 1066 since like I know both of those ages already. Um I have played with the 769 start um using mods in CK3. I think I'm gonna go with 936. Let's start. Looking around at the map, things are kind of strange. Um, things are kind of like weirdly curved, especially India. In CK3, it's definitely not this curved. Um, I don't want to pick somebody that's like super easy to play as. Like, I'm guessing like this guy would be easy to play. Um, this guy would be easy to play. I think I'm gonna go for like a duchy and start there, and then to see how far I can get. I know people who play CK2 are probably gonna cringe at this, but I never actually knew this. But listen to this. I think that's a pretty like huge missing thing in CK3 is like, you know, like, you know, um, things like that, you know, like little charming things like this. I think I decided who I'm going to play as. I'm going to play as Duke Arnulf of Bavaria, who's of House Von Babenberg. Well, let's just get into this. And I might as well repeat this. I have not played CK2 at all. I haven't even played the tutorial, so I could be absolutely terrible at this, or I could be decent. I guess we'll find out together, I guess. So looking at my starting character, he's... He is an Erudite. He's Roth. I've never heard of Roth before. He's cruel. He's proud. And apparently he had a wife that was 91 years old who died? Uh, okay, I guess. Looking at her sons, he's pretty high in intrigue. And if it's anything like CK3's intrigue, this guy sucks. This guy's high in learning. And this guy is middle of the road. He's still young, so he doesn't have a um like an education trade, I'm pretty sure yet. It looks like our guy here is in learning. So let's go for theology, maybe. I'm just gonna do the rest of these things off screen so like I don't bore you guys with it. So I might as well say something off the bat. People say that the CK3 UI is bad. Holy crap. This is super crowded. I don't even know what I'm doing here, honestly. Pretty big rebellion is going on. My liege isn't worth hungry too. Um, I think he can win this. This isn't unwinnable by any means, especially with the amount of troops that he has. So I'm just gonna say no to this. So it looks like we're facing a faction here. Um, we are kind of even. I think I'll be able to win this. I'm not even sure. I do know that I have an alliance with Bulgaria, so I don't know if they'll join me. It says that I have a non-aggression pact with them, so I don't know if that's the same as an alliance. Hopefully it is, because I don't really know how to get an alliance, so yeah. I can't get an alliance with Bulgaria. Um, I wish I would say why, instead of just saying no. You know, it's kind of stupid, but I guess we'll fight this alone. We are screwed here, by the way. Um, we just got completely destroyed. <laughs> I don't really, um, okay. At this point, they completely outnumber us, so it would make no sense for us to continue. Um, I don't think it should be that big of a deal. It isn't that big of a deal, it looks like. All it does is increase, um, power of the council, which I don't even know what that does, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. So let's just say yes. Great, another faction. It's with one guy. I'm hoping I'm not that bad and I can actually win this. It isn't that big of a troop advantage that he has. Alright, here we go. Now, I should be able to enforce demands. There we go. Nice. Let's make the son become a monk. There we go. I might as well make this son a monk too. There we go. I think I'm going to help out my leech here. 
For some reason, he can't deal with this rebellion, even though it has 249 troops in it. So I'm just going to stop this and help him. There we go. Oh, never mind. It looks like it's already done, apparently. This is risky. Um, I'm going to go for it. Did we get anything? No, we didn't. Nice. I think I'm going to ask for a claim here on the Duchy of Swabia. If I'm able to push this claim, I'll become, like, huge. So, I'm just going to ask for it. There we go. Alright, here we go. That was easy. Here we go. There we go. Sweet. This is pretty interesting here. It looks like King Otto's son wants to kill him. And he's asking me for help. I can't benefit from this. I'm actually thinking of like declaring an independence war so it's easier to actually form the kingdom. Um, I think I'm going to accept this. I'm hoping that I don't get like in prison for this or anything, but I guess we'll see. I've just made the decision to kill King Otto here. I think it'll be much easier to break away from him when he's dead, you know, when his realms will split apart. So I'm just going to go for it. The plot was discovered. This is unfortunate. I don't think that he's going to try to take my titles away from me. He is way too occupied with like other wars. So I think I'm safe regardless. Arnulf is dead. Um, He lived for a pretty long time. He lived to be 68. I couldn't figure out how to disinherit people. Besides making the monks. So my realm did split apart. Um, It shouldn't be that big of a deal. He has 600 troops and I have... 800. It should be It should be okay. My son's already pretty old. He's 50 years old. Um, He probably isn't going to live that long, but I guess we'll see. Let's take our land back. I was trying to run away from him and he followed me. It's like, why? Why are you following me? So I just forgot to record there. I won that war. I'm facing a pretty big faction though, two of them actually. The factions are definitely a lot more difficult in CK2 than CK3 here. Like, it's kind of ridiculous, but okay. We have no choice here. This faction is way too strong and I can't get any allies. So yeah, I'm just gonna surrender this. I have a pretty good opportunity here. I can marry my heir off to the Duchess of Holstein. And she has a ton of counties, so I'm going to do this. Can I? Why can't I? I don't know why I can't do it. There we go. So I just noticed a pretty big opportunity here. I can actually Holy War for Austria. I don't know why I'm allowed to do this since this guy is a Catholic. I know that he is excommunicated though, so maybe that's the reason why. But let's push this. Jesus. That was a bad idea. Um, I'm guessing that literally everyone in Hungary joined that war. Like, I don't get it. That's not how it works in CK3, obviously. Um, we are screwed. Like, there's no way we're going to win this when literally the entirety of Hungary decided to just dogpile on me here. Um, I don't think I'm going to surrender yet, but I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're fucked. You know what? I'm just going to surrender. I don't really care. Surrender. What do I get? Lose... 75 piety and 100 and 150 prestige okay at least it wasn't too bad and for some reason my liege has like a hate boner for me and he's like been trying to like you know make me his rival for like five years i don't really know why i did nothing to him but he hates me so it is what it is all right duke eberhard is dead now we're playing as duke arnulf the second of bavaria he's gluttonous he's ambitious and he's uncouth He's only 34, so he's the youngest ruler that we've had so far. Um, hopefully he lives for a long time. I'm hoping with him I can actually, like, do something instead of just sitting here doing nothing. Let's take back Swabia. What? 
Somehow I inherited the Kingdom of Germany. How did this even happen? I don't- I don't think I had a claim on it. Did I? No. I don't know how this happened, but I'm okay with it, I guess. I'm hoping that, like, factions won't absolutely destroy me. I do know that basically every single German king has been facing, like, a trillion, like, battles and, and like, revolts, so... I hope it's easy for me. Um, please be easy. It might be because of it's an elective kingdom. Um, he's still alive, though, so that wouldn't really make sense. Um, I don't really know, honestly. I really don't know. Let's go and coordinate ourselves. Here we go. So we're facing three factions here. Um, I should be able to deal with them easily. I've allied both France and Italy. Italy is going through like a civil war, so I don't know how much it'll help, but regardless, um, I should be able to deal with it. Here we go. Right. And we're facing another war for a county. Okay. Great. I'm just gonna white piece this Austria war. Um, I don't want anything from him, so... Here we go. Alright, nice. Here we go. Sweet. So I thought that I could try to form the HRE here. Um, I don't think I can. It says that I need to control Italy. And, like, that's way too advanced for me. You know, to, like, get a claim on it, so... I'm just gonna not do that. I don't really know what else I'm gonna do here, honestly. Something I could do... Is like push deeper into like Poland, I guess. Let's just do that right now. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Sweet. I think I'm gonna deal with this faction, and then I'm gonna call it there. So the faction that formed against me disbanded, but I did get this peasant revolt, so I guess I'll just call it. After I defeat this Peasant Revolt, I guess. Alright. Here we go. So here we are. We are pretty big. I would describe this campaign as like, falling upwards. Um, I didn't really do anything, or at least I don't feel like I did anything like that impressive. But it ended up like a pretty big kingdom. Looking at us, we have a decent amount of troops here. We make a lot of money. I don't really want to say anything else, because, like, I don't really know if we did good or bad in those things, so I'm not going to, like, guess. Looking around at the rest of the world, um, France is doing pretty good. Navarro's, like, expanded into, um, southern France here, which is pretty cool. England is doing decent. Lyon is doing great. They're actually, um, kicking out the Muslims out of Spain, um, pretty, pretty quickly. The Byzantines are doing okay. Egypt is huge. The Fatimids never went there, I guess. The Abbasids are, like, expanding into Arabia. The Samanids are massive. Like, look at them. They are huge. And so is, um, Cumania here. India. Nothing is that impressive. This guy's pretty big, though. Looking at religions, there's, like, this one orthodox dot in France for some reason. Some of the guys up here became Catholic. And some of the guys in Poland did too. Orthodoxy is doing okay. There's like little like, um, Polican bits in, you know, the Byzantines. North Africa is a mess of religions. Just look at that. That's hideous. And somehow there's a Yazidi province over here. Other than like those, like everything is probably average. Cultures, I couldn't even tell if, you know, cultures were different here. So... Maybe they're different, maybe they're not, I don't know. But yeah, if you guys have any other ideas for videos, just let me know. And thank you for watching.